small man you don't you don't mention uh, a couple of times you know during our conversation so far about like you not necessarily just being like into music but like you got like the street element as well you know about being like connected with somebody in new orleans like bg and chopper city man you know you had the opportunity to connect with other people like vl mike you know what it is, believe that there, you heard me? Real motherfucking nigga from the end of Fisher, and I ain't just no motherfucking rapper, nigga. I keep it thorough, I keep it hood. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, you know, somebody who was, um, unfortunately, you know, taken before his time. But he was, a, uh, he was like one of the charismatic figures when it came to the Chopper City boys. Can you talk about, like, how y'all met in y'all relationship, bruh, prior to him passing? Because, you know, before he passed, he was supposed to be linked to, like, Black Wall Street, he was dissing BG, so on and so forth, man. But you was there from the beginning when he was actually down with the camp before he kind of, you know, you know, parted ways and did his own thing. I met, man, this I met VL Mike in 2004, you feel me? That's the first time we met. And he go crazy for it. The first time me and VL, me and VL Mike went, met, we didn't speak. We was mean bugging each other. You feel me? He came to Chopper City Records office, the Holly Caradosa. He was in Caradosa's office. Caradosa called me. Who was Caradosa for people who don't know? Caradosa was the CEO of Chopper City Records. This is BG's auntie. This is Mama's sister. So she's the CEO of Chopper City Records. You feel me? BG was the face of Chopper City. Carol was the person behind the scenes for him with all the business. You follow what I'm saying? So Mike came to the office one day. And uh, when he was in the car office, and Kara called me back there about some other shit, you feel me? I, I go back there, me and Mike cross each other. We look, we look each other up and down. Me and motherfucker at each other. Don't speak. We motherfucker at each other, bro. I'm looking at him like, nigga, who the fuck is you? He looking at me like like the same way. Nigga, who the fuck is you? Motherfucker at each other. You know what I'm saying? Didn't speak. I did what I had to do with Carol or whatever. The next day, me and Carol was in the studio, you know, and she playing, she got me pulling on music or whatever. So she, she pulled up this uh, specific song called I Do What I Gotta Do, a BG song, I Do What I Gotta Do to Stay Out Shit. So a nigga come in rapping on the second verse of the song, talk some, some gangster shit. I'm like, Carol, who the fuck is that rapping like that? She said, that's VL Mike. I said, who is that? That's the dude who was in the office yesterday in my hall with you, who you, who you didn't speak to. Believe me, these cheese eaters, they out shit. Yeah. I've been out here, little boy, you don't know my pain. I got busted up time, a thousand grams of pure cocaine. I ain't never folded my nigga in a Paris of solid. Take my charge like a man, ain't no question I got it. I said, that little skinny black nigga who was in the office yesterday, that's him talking like that? That's him? No, it's VL Mike. Don't let this shit fool you. Don't, 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 let, don't let this looks fool you. Mike's a motherfucking fool. I'm like, Carol, hold up. Let me rewind back. Kurt, hold up. The nigga who's in your office yesterday, the skinny black nigga who me and him mean mug each other. You telling me this him talking like this on the song? That's Mike. So from that point on, I was intrigued by this shit. I'm like, this nigga here, because he don't look like what he rap. You feel what I'm saying? If you look at him, you'll think he's a college student. If you listen to his raps, you be like, man, this can't be the same nigga I just saw. You feel what I'm saying? So I had that same vibe off of him. I'm like, this nigga, okay, this nigga snap. And then the next time I saw him, he he he, he uh he, he introduced himself to me. You feel me? So I'm like, okay, all right, bro. I, I, I didn't tell him this, but in my mind, yeah, I heard you. I heard you rapping the other day, bro. I know what you on, bro. You feel me? So you know what I'm saying? So we just kind of clicked out of that. You know what I'm saying? So VL Mike, that was my nigga right there, man. Those, me and VL Mike had a real, out of all the Chopper City boys, VL Mike, I killed a snipe guard, all of them my brothers. I love all the niggas. But me and Mike had a closer relationship. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That was my nigga right there. Mike was my nigga right there. And you was around during the time when he jumped ship. Yeah, I was. And he was dissing BG. He yeah. got down with uh, allegedly Black Wall Street, the game, and all of that. Yeah. I was like, did y'all maintain a relationship during that time as well? Yeah, I was around for that. And then, and did you hear like the rumors like after he got murdered, like BG was allegedly supposed to have had a hand in all yeah, of that? Yeah, man, but that wasn't true at all. That wasn't true at all. Talk about that, bro. 
That one short man, uh, V L Mike had some street shit going on. They had nothing to do with BG. You feel me? The, street, the shit he had going on in the streets, that's what led to his death. You feel what I'm saying? But to the public, the fact that he's dissing BG and saying fuck BG and all, 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 all this and that, and he all of a sudden getting killed, the streets gonna say BG had something to do with that. That's not true at all. BG had, BG had nothing to do with Mike getting killed. Mike had some other shit going on. You feel what I'm saying? And, and that's what, and I, I can't speak on that. But he had some other shit going on. And that's what led to his death. And what people need to know is this. BG never had a problem with Mike. Never had a problem with Mike. He didn't understand what my problem was with him. Like, damn, why you dissing me out? What, 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 you, what you doing? Why you dissing me out of, out of the blue out for no reason, you feel me? But BG or the group never fed into that. When Mike was doing that, BG or the group never fed into that. They never, they never responded to that shit, you feel what I'm saying? So when Mike got killed, that was on some street shit. Not, not on no rap shit with BG. BG had nothing to do with that. So get that clear, he had nothing to do with that. Mm. Some street shit from, from the walls. Yeah. yeah, that's crazy, man. Yeah, yeah man. I mean, I, I feel like if he didn't get murdered, man, he definitely had his own lane for sure. Like, like a baby soldier slim almost, man. That's him. That's him. That's him. That's him. That's him. Mike was. Matter of fact, and Mike did jail time with Soldier Slim. For real? Yeah, he did jail time. He look with young Slim. though, man. Man, listen, bro. Mike got killed in 2008. At the time, he was 28 years old, you feel what I'm saying? 2008? Yeah, yeah April 2008, Mike got killed. Mm. He was 28 years old. Mike was the oldest member out of the Chopper City Boys. He was older than God, Snipe, and Hot. Oh, Cousin. yeah, he was like the OG out the group. Old, he was the oldest guy <laughs> group, you feel what I'm saying? So, yeah, so, yeah. Mm. But uh, he got killed on some shit that had nothing to do with music. Yeah. Uh, with music, bro. Feed on a few, know what they say. Homie, I'm still breathing. You niggas just mess so I know him way before. In and out of jail, cutting helmets, lend the force. These niggas got me fucked up, ain't living the way I'm living. Just cause he got a few dollars, don't mean I won't kill him. They love to hear me running shit, fucked up part is the truth. All these rappers carry these guns, ain't never one of them shoot. 